يا ناري بغينا عارفين والو كاع شلا عذاب الدنيا هادي ماشي منتخب ديالي انا اللعابة اللي بغيت انا ما كيجيبوهمش اش غنديرو دابا كاع صافي انا دابا انا انا دابا غنولي اونترينور ديال منتخب يلا يلا سير Assalamu alaikum Soccer Rockins Welcome to a brand new episode of Soccer Rocko Today we want to talk about my top 11 because you have noticed yourself that sometimes your favorite players don't make it to the national team I don't know why Today I want to figure out um, what are my top 11 players and who do I want to see it's only a wish list. I don't want to teach you. It's very important that you write down in the comments where you agree or where you disagree. So maybe I can fix something, but this is just my opinion. All right? If this is your first time watching Soccer Rocco, consider subscribing because you want to get involved. There's going to be way more information about North African football in the future. So let's do it. All right, without much further ado, let's jump right in. The top 11. Let's start, of course, we're gonna start with the position of the goalkeeper. Who is this man? I'm gonna tell you my top 11 plus alternative players. For example, who could replace that goalkeeper? Who is maybe as good enough, as good as this player? The first player is Surprise, Yasin Bunu, 28 year old, left foot, player for FC Sevilla. He joined that team uh, on September 2nd. Yasin Bunu, tall guy. He's 6'5, he's experienced, he played the World Cup, he played AFCON, he has been in sparkling form at times, and he made it to the list of the uh, the best European goalkeepers when it comes to saves. I think he was ranked 8, so pretty good. And uh, we can rely on this goalkeeper, but he can also be replaced by Munir. We all know him. And uh, let's write down Munir right here. Uh, the goalkeeper position is a position we don't have uh, to worry about any longer. We can rely on these guys. Pretty experienced. They are fighting for the flag. You can tell. So, but uh, Yesi Bunu is my number one. All right, let's move on to the defense. Uh, let's start with my favorite left back. And we all know him, you know him, right? It's Ashraf Hakimi. Surprise. Current player for the German club Borussia Dortmund. He's gonna turn 21 in November. Great guy, passing skills, dribbling skills. He can score goals because he was trained as a winger. He can harm the defense of the opponent. So to me, he's irreplaceable. Of course, he's not in the two upcoming friendlies against Burkina Faso or Niger. He's gonna be in the, I call it the real national team. This is just a test. This is what I believe. So, Ashraf Hakimi is irreplaceable in this position. He's on loan from Real Madrid at the moment. Uh, he's playing for Borussia Dortmund, as I said. And I watched Ashraf in the Bundesliga. Great guy. I've seen his goals live. So, let's see what happens. Um, he's a part of our future. So, Ashraf Hakimi is the left back, number one. All right, let's move on to the central defenders. Uh, to me, of also irreplaceable, his name is Random Size. I'm gonna put him right here. 29 year old uh, defender, current player for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 
experienced guy. He played the World Cup 2018. He played AFCON. He has proven his skills. He has already played 37 games for the national team and no one is better than him at the moment because this is prior to the friendlies against Burkina Faso and Niger that might change maybe there's going to be a brand new talent on the pitch on Friday but this is my top 11 prior to the friendlies okay Roman size irreplaceable all right let's move on we're still talking about the central defenders one of my top 11 players is Zuhair Den. He is a current player for Real Betis in Spain and mainly plays as a central defender. So I guess this is going to be a position if he plays for the national team. He's a left foot with great passing skills. He uh, is great at aerial duels and tackling. So. We do need a guy like him. Uh, Zoe Fidel is not irreplaceable, at least for me. He can be replaced by Jawed El Yamir. Or Benatia. So. Don't laugh at my writing skills. This is how I write, but um, yeah, I hope you can read it. It's Elia Mir and Ben Hatia. I don't think we have to worry about this position. So we do have plenty of uh, talented players. Let's see what happens on Friday. Maybe some new guy is gonna step up and make it to my top 11. That, that's what they're playing for. They're playing for uses top 11, right? All right. Who's missing? It's uh, the fourth man in the defense. Fourth player in the defense is missing. Who could that be? He has played an amazing Champions League season. He is a teammate of Hakim Ziyech. He's so young and talented and to me he's always he's always going to be in my top 11 at least for the moment forever is maybe too much but for the moment we're talking about Nusser Mazarawi if you disagree write it down in the comments but I don't care what you say Nusser Mazarawi young player he's the future of the national team in the defense play for Ajax Amsterdam and he got everything you need Enough said. Thank you very much. We gotta move on uh, to the central midfielder. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. He's finally back. He has been treated like a uh, renegade. He used to play for the national team. We are all we were all waiting for this man. He's 30 years old, still young enough to step up and help us in the national team. His name is Adi. Darat. Central midfielder, talented guy, current player for the Portuguese club, Benfica, and he made his a debut for the Morocco national team in 2009. He played the AFCON 2012, and there are so many fans of him in Morocco, and I can totally understand that. Uh, Darat is a talent, he got the passing skills, he got Technical, technical skills in general. He's super experienced. He can bring something to the table. He can help us. If he plays, he's gonna be one of the key factors of the national team. And he's to adopt. Let's see what happens. As I said, he got sick dribbling skills, passing skills, technical skills. What he's lacking is still, um, he's not that strong when it comes to finishing but i do believe that might change in the future because maybe he can score some goals for us he got the skills let's see what happens all i can say is he's super experienced as i mentioned he played for bigger teams such as tottenham or milan and now he is in uh, portugal and i can totally understand that he's back in the national team and i'm super excited when 
comes to Adil Tarat. He's not irreplaceable, which is not a bad thing. We do have alternatives, such as Yusuf Aitben Nasser, who plays in Monaco, France, or Anwar, who plays in Spain for Real Valladolid. I hope I didn't mispronounce that. We need a right winger, and to me, we're we still talking about Yusuf's top 11, that's all I'm saying. To me, he's Sufian Buffet. Sufian Buffet, he's the right winger for me. He got the technical skills, he's still young, he's 25 years old, player for Southampton in England, and he has been a part of the Morocco national team since 2016. So, to me, he's almost irreplaceable. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you what I'm talking about. Almost irreplaceable, but Buffet is in my top 11. If you disagree, you know what to do, right? Put it down below in the comments. I'm in for a discussion. I'm in for trouble. I said almost, right? Maybe not by a young player, but we're talking about the pit bull. I call him the pit bull. This man is crazy. You can always rely on him. We're talking about Nordin Mravet. Playing in Saudi Arabia, not that young anymore, but still young enough to harm the opponent at any time. I hope he can still be a part of the national team in the future. Um, maybe if he comes on a pitch for 30 or 40 minutes, who knows, he can cause some trouble. I'm a big fan of Nordin Amrabat. He's playing for red and green. He's playing for the flag. He's playing for the team. He's playing for the country. And he has a heart of gold. I'm a big fan of Nordin Amrabat. Sufian Buffet is maybe the technical, technically more gifted player and younger player. But Nordin Amrabat is always a good option. One guy is missing. Um, I'm talking about a midfielder right here on the left side. I'm talking about a left winger. And I'm a huge fan of this guy, player of, uh, in the Bundesliga. He's playing for Schalke 04, as we say in Germany. He's a real Schalke guy already. He has faced some issues in the last season. Um, he caused some trouble, he had some disciplinary problems, but he's back and I hope he's gonna be a core element of the Moroccan national team. He is for Schalke 04 this season and I'm a huge fan of Amin Harit, only 22 years old. He is the future of the Moroccan national team. He got everything you need, the passing skills, uh, he got the pace. I sincerely hope and I do believe that he's gonna be a core element of the Moroccan national team because he can cause some trouble in the opponent's defense He's in my top 11, so I think that Wahid Halil Hutch is gonna do the same. I'm a huge fan of Amin Harit. What do you think about him? Um, I'm pretty curious if he's gonna be on a pitch on Friday and uh, Tuesday. Um, I'm talking about the friendlies against Burkina Faso and Niger. I'm a huge fan, that's all I'm saying. Amin Harit is. The king. All right. Ooh, I'm pretty excited because there are only three more players left and we gotta talk about the attackers. And there's one player you all know. He had that dramatic moment at AFCON 2019. And I almost cried, that's all I'm saying, but we all know what he's capable of doing and he's gonna show that and he's done that in the past. He's done that for Ajax Amsterdam in the Netherlands. 
and he's done it for the Moroccan national team and he's gonna do it again and he is almost irreplaceable I say it again I said it and I'll say it again he's irreplaceable and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about later who is this man? Hakim Ziyech Ain't got time to waste, right? Talking about Hakim Ziyech. Do I have to present this man to you again? I don't think so. I don't waste no time. It's Hakim Ziyech. 99.9% uh, .9 of you is gonna agree with me. Hakim Ziyech, let's move on. Hakim Ziyech. Okay. Striker number two. 22 years old. He's not. He's not going to be in the friendlies against Burkina Faso and Niger, but he's in my top 11 because he's proven that he got the skills at Afcon 2019, and he scored that amazing header at World Cup 2018. He's playing in Spain for CD Leganes. I don't know if I mispronounced that. But you know who I'm talking about. It's Yusuf Nseri. By the way, uh, Yusuf is a pretty name, don't you agree? Uh, <laughs> but that's a different topic. He has been a part of the Moroccan national team since 2016. And he played 26 games uh, for us and scored 8 goals. He's still young, he's the future of the Moroccan offense, and I hope he's gonna be a fixed point of the Atlas lines. So, Yusuf Musiri is a great striker, but not irreplaceable. Who can replace this man? Coming up. Okay, all of the strikers, there's still one guy missing, one special guy. And all of the strikers can be replaced by Welly, Azaru, who is playing for an Ali in Egypt, as well as Rashid Adiwi, who's playing in France for Angers. Aliwi, great guy who is playing in France at the moment and a uh, great striker, but he's not in the top 11. But uh, Walid Azaro and Rashid Aliwi are great strikers who can help us out if someone is missing or injured. They got the talent, they got the skills. We ain't got no problem, right? There's one guy missing, one special guy. Most of you know, some of you don't. I'm a huge fan. Uh, maybe you know that I live in Germany and I watch a lot of the second Bundesliga and the first, so there are some Moroccan players who are underestimated or not recognized yet. And I'm a fan of this guy. His name is Hamed El Radiwi. He's not the youngest guy, but Still young enough, and I want this man on the national team. Wahid Halil Hachit, if you hear me, this man is, has to be on the Moroccan national team. He's 28 years old. He's a player for VfB Stuttgart in the second league. He can score goals. He is tall AF. He's talented. He has got the skills we need. This is a real striker to me. Great heading skills. Uh, you got the technical skills. Uh, we were lacking a kind of player like him in the past. Call him. Please call him. Call him right now. I am a huge fan. He's in my top 11 and he's gonna stay right here. Of course, my best friend, Hamed El Radiwi, is not irreplaceable. There's one guy. We are all praying for 
he still hasn't decided if he wants to play for us or the Dutch guy. But I hope he decides well. He has to listen to his mother and she's going to tell him, Mohammed, you have to play for Morocco. His name is Ihtarin. I'm going to put him right here. 17 years old, player for PSV Eindhoven in the Netherlands. I hope he's going to decide on the Morocco national team. You do as well. I know that. I'm looking right at you. Ihtar. I hope. I hope. I'm just hoping. Not that important to me. But, uh. Yeah, just. Yeah, Tom. Just please come. Alright, Sucker Rockins. You have learned about Yusuf, uh, my top 11. If you agree with the players, put it in the comments below. Let's talk about it. If you disagree, Put it in the comments below. Let's talk about it. I am ready to fight you. I am ready to fight you, but this is my top 11. It's Yassin Bounou, Zuhir Fadel, Ghanem Saiz, Ashraf Hakimi, Nusir Mazraoui, Sufian Bouffer, it's Adil Ta'arab, Amin Harid, Hakim Ziyech, Yusuf Nsiri, and of course, Hamedi El Ghadiwi. Thank you very much for watching. I'm super excited. I'm, I'm gonna watch, of course I'm gonna watch the two upcoming friendlies and let's see what's gonna happen. This was part one of my top 11 because I'm pretty sure some positions might change after the friendlies. So stick around, subscribe to my channel Let's see what happens in part two. Bislam of soccer rockets.